Hey guys, Dr. Perlman, and I wanted to check in with what I believe to be a very important video because there's always that element of perception versus reality when it comes to chiropractic care, but a lot of times in terms of like our overall health when it comes to pain that we feel and how to sort of rid ourselves of pain, especially chronic pain or uh, areas of pain that seem to always pop up or be repeat um, offenders, if you will. So we just had a patient come in and had their uh, early afternoon appointment and you know we did the you know scope and we gown and we checked and we and we do our Gonstead sort of method that we take in our approach to how we're going to care for our patients adjust the necessary segments but i wasn't really happy with the quality of the set and the person left you know still feeling like a little bound up you know maybe a little bit better kind of thing and this person has been my patient for quite a while and i know what i'm looking for to get out of the adjustment with them on sort of a, a wellness maintenance kind of checking in you know every couple of weeks every few months routine again i'm really trying to paint the picture as specific as i can much like the adjustments i like to give so i said you know there's a really good chance that i'm going to have to see you um over the weekend you know i might even you know have to come in on friday if you think you're the rare part of the shoulder is bad enough even though I don't work Fridays. Fridays is sort of my personal day that I get adjusted, that I do my administrative work. So they left, we go to lunch, and about you know 20 minutes to two, I get a, an email very descriptive of the type of symptoms that this person is having. So I said, hey, I mean, look, before you have to go anywhere else, before you have to go to work, get your, you know, get back to the office, get in here, let's reassess, we've got to get a better adjustment out of it. Now here's two questions you gotta ask yourself if you're listening to this video. Number one, why didn't I just do that right away if I thought the adjustment wasn't good enough? And number two, can you really get adjusted you know, that close after? Or why not do it the next day? Or, or you know, physiologically, how does that make sense? Number one, the tissue was too inflamed and the body was not wanting to release it at that point. Think of a pressure gradient that just has so much pressure in one area of all these various joints that make up the bone disc bone joint complex if you will of the spine and it just didn't want to give what i wanted to have the body you know be able to receive at that moment in time and then two is i believe it's physiologic um evidence or clinical you know the relevance is something like maybe 15 to 20 minutes before the gas rebuilds up back in the joint to where it can crack or cavitate again. However, I want you to remember that's based off of what they call a meniscoid or sort of something that's in between the facets of the joint that you can superficially do this and this for like the mobile people who can kind of crack their neck. So theoretically, I could adjust them twice within like a 15 or 20 minute window. However, the type of gases or gradient and the pressure that's building up within the joint that takes the disc into account as well is not going to be just a 20 minute thing. However, Dr. Gonstead, the methodology that I practice and a lot of the colleagues of mine practice, it's he used to have people fly in from all over the world and stay at his Gonstead hotel, really in Mount Horeb, Wisconsin, and they would get adjusted multiple times a day. And Gonstead wasn't just, you know, coming in there, you know, willy nilly, whatever. He had a plan. He had a flow. He had a, he had this clinical experience that, that he that became like innate to him that he just knew dealing with someone's body. Now, I'm not saying that I'm on that level at all, but I knew that if I told my patient to come back based off the symptoms they were feeling, that we could get the successful adjustment, and we did. So I wanna make this video again, because it's like expectation versus reality. The reality is someone is in pain or in enough discomfort, and the clinical observation and the clinical tests show that it's coming from a specific joint. And if a specific adjustment doesn't go good at first, is that because I'm clinically you know, not good and I just had an off day or an off moment? A lot of times the inflammation and the guarding and the paraspinal spasm that exists is just not gonna allow that joint to do quite what we want. And that's why a lot of times it's a time repetition, dose response. What we say here in our clinic is working in combinations and patterns to get the desired outcome. And sometimes it will take two, three adjustments in a given day. Now that's not reality or, or it's not really practical for a lot of people in today's you know rat race hustle and flow society where we've got to get and we've got to get going so you have to be able to work that in to really resolving some of these pain management issues from time to time where you might go to your chiropractor and stick around for an hour and a half walk around the neighborhood go get a coffee go eat lunch come back you might have to do something where you're staying at a hotel if you're coming in from out of town and twice a day go see the chiropractor 
And I just wanna paint, paint a picture for when it comes to real serious pain cases, that type of management is necessary. And that's how chiropractic can make the biggest impact in the pain cases. Uh, if you're feeling like, oh, well, why was this successful one day? Or why is this successful here and not successful there? There is a real life practical story of the way it works. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And until next time, this is Dr. Perlman.